Hello, I'm Bags. It's Joe Plays Games, and yes, don't adjust your TV sets. This is Ark Survival Evolved. <gasps> Hello, in Atlas, as you can see, I've got all the Atlas creatures. So I may have seen this video already. I don't know what order I've put this out in, to be honest. But I'm showing you basically the basics of taming. Now the adjustments have been made after update 1.0. So go and check out that video if you've not seen it already. However, when I was mucking around with the codes, I decided to have a little play. Now, you've probably seen this already. I'm not bashing a dead horse just for the fun of it. We've seen the T-Rex is spawnable in Atlas. We knew that was the case. And we know lots of these creatures have probably been reskinned and retooled from Ark Survival Evolved. Because it is more or less Ark basically added on with an Atlas mod. Now, I say that lightly because Atlas has got some fantastic concepts. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. And despite negative reception, I am really enjoying Atlas. I've been playing a bunch of PvP official, and it's been amazing. However, it's quite funny to look at stuff and imagine if there were full dinos in Atlas. See, a lot of people, I know a lot of ARK fans, a lot of my subscribers, you guys, you love the dinosaurs. That's the main draw from playing something like ARK Survival Evolve. Take away the dinosaurs and you're left with quite mundane, sort of normal creatures. Are they as interesting as having dinosaurs in Ark Survival Evolved? Probably not, to be honest. Um, I think having playing creatures like we're used to, obviously these are all tier 2. I know there's more to Atlas, not than just these ones. I am on a Golden Isle, of course, so we are going to come across into some of the creatures more like these. And, of course, down there we've got all the big bad ones like the Cyclopses and the Hydras and stuff. But I just thought it was interesting to take a look and wondering why the devs have left this in. Now we know they're not too smart or too clever. They did leave the arc menu when they first launched, although that's been cut out now, I do believe. But nevertheless, it does make me wonder what they're doing. Are these skins, are these characters, are these AI whatever models in the game because they're going to be doing something with it? Who knows? But they, they all work. It is a, literally an arc dinosaur that you, you're, you, you're used to seeing. In, in game. Um, I can't ride these though without saddle. Now, I, to be honest, I'm getting a bit confused with some of them because I don't know if that's the bat from Ark or is it the actual bat from Atlas? But it was the Ark code that I popped in. It looks a bit like Joker, doesn't it? This bat has definitely got the Joker vibe about it. But it's pretty interesting. Because you know, I've got no life, got nothing better to do than go through 140 odd dinosaurs to see if they actually spawn on. These were the only ones that I could get to work. I went through a bunch of DLC creatures as well, none of them worked. I tried different ways to spawn them in again and for some reason these ones are here. So there you go, I've done you a favour Atlas devs. If you're watching this, go and remove these creatures from the game because they're still in there or are you going to introduce them? Are we going to get this turned not from a doe deck but is it going to be an armadillo? Is that what's going to happen with this? Are we going to get, not a Megalania, but we're going to get a Dragon Lizard or something like that? Are we going to get, well, we've got the Yeti already. We've, again, I don't know if that's the actually Atlas one or the Ark one. I'm not 100% sure. You guys let me know. I've not really come across any gorillas in it, but it definitely, that that's a Yeti to me. That's not a gorilla. I don't know. It's been a while. Its eyes look really freaky. I don't remember their faces looking as good. Obviously, they did get rejigged. They got a TLC update on Ark Survival World a little while ago. Um, so maybe maybe that's why. Um, I quite like that picture as a thumbnail, though. I spent ages getting a thumbnail ready. You know what? I'm feeling that one. Anyway, giant bees. We've got bees in Atlas. Oh, they're annoying. They come after you all the time. When you pick them up in Ark, they disappear. And you have got the honeycomb, but you can't do anything with the honeycomb. You try and place it, and it just it doesn't work. There's nothing to be happening with it. So... There we go. Um, they've got their inventories as well. Obviously, you can still go ahead and just pop whatever you want into them. So, whatever code it is for Ark, it's exactly the same code. I'm, it's not at all. This is obviously for my private server. I am on my private server at the moment. I'm testing. I'm mucking around, doing all sorts of things. You can see I've imported loads of land masses just to see what it would be like if there was a lot more land in the game. And obviously, we're going to be joining up with GG Fizz and a bunch of other content creators. We're making a huge grid. We're going to have nine, maybe even twelve grids, twelve servers linked together. Huge community. Everyone plan together on PVE, PVP side things. It's going to be great. So if you want to join, hit me up on Patreon or become a YouTube member or hit me up on Twitch Prime. That's going to be going live at the end of the month. Anywho, let's take a little look. Oh yeah, I've got this as well. You can ride the little scorpions. I'm going to show you how we can ride them. Now, 
I've been playing around with the codes because that's what I do. That is that's what I based a lot of my arc channel on was finding stuff to do, showing people how to do stuff, and occasionally I'd come across sort of things. I've shown you how you can ride mini dinos in the past, like baby ones. I've shown you how you can do all sorts like ride hide riderless so that you can make it like it. it's like a be a dino mod. But this is this is pretty cool. So if we have a look and see here. I have spawned in this saddle and basically you can pop it in any creature that's got a saddle, if I get it right, is it that one? Yeah, it's that one. Generic saddle. There we go. Nah, <laughs> it's obviously massively oversized, it's not meant to work um, and it is a bit buggy and a bit glitchy, but it does allow me to ride a scorpion. I think that's great. I think that's great. The only problem is of course you can't see the scorpion. But it is more or less the Palmasaurus or the Scorpion from Ark Survival Evolved. You, know, you can attack. It's got different sounds and stuff. It's pretty cool. Oh, I've got my little shake there. There we go. So, yeah, you can't really see it too well. But that's that's what that is about. Let's take the, the saddle off now. Now let's pop it on a Carnotaur and see what it looks like just for the fun of it. So, yeah, let's face it. Atlas would have maybe not got so much bad crap if it didn't launch in a bad state and, you know, didn't obviously use the bulk of Ark as its main game or just adding on top of what Ark really is. But who knows? I'm not an engineer. I like, I've, I've defended it a little bit in some other videos, telling you guys how much I actually think it's more down to being very much like a, a, a sequel. A lot of you guys did point out, of course, though, that sequels are called sequels, you know, they're not called a different game entirely, and that's fair enough, but I think I've pointed out as well with like Bloodborne and Dark Souls, you can have games that are pretty much sequels, but they're totally different change names. Anyway, I'm not going into that. I'm enjoying Atlas. Atlas is coming along great, it's running a lot better than it was. Um, I think if they keep moving in the right direction, adding new creatures, it'd be good, but I don't know about dinosaurs. I'm kind of done with dinosaurs. I don't want to see any more creatures added to the Golden Age ruins. I feel like they must have just run out of some mythological ideas. Maybe whoever designs the creatures was just out of holiday or whatever. But this is pretty much the length and breadth of it. Please, no more dinosaurs, Atlas. Let's have some more new creatures. I'm not too clued up on just having average creatures or normal creatures. They're quite fun, though, some of them. I really like the Chocobay. It's not a Chocobo, it's a Chocobay. That's, this is my baby, I like this one. Um, but I definitely think more mythological creatures. There's so many more mythological creatures. You know what I'd love to see in Atlas? The Griffin. The Griffin from Scorched Earth. Not Scorched Earth, from Ragnarok. That'd be amazing. Or the Phoenix. The Phoenix, but, you know, brand new skins, brand new abilities. Same with the Griffin as well. Maybe mix it up a bit, little bit. I think that'd be pretty good. Uh, let's take that out of here. And let's go and pop it on something else. So you can't do anything with the bats. Because they've got no box to put it on. But we can put it on Sonic the Hedgehog here. There we go. Like I said, it's derpy as hell. This one looks like a ter pterodactyl. A pteranodon. But it does allow to, you know, do it. I did want to see if it will gather loads of rock and stone. Much better than a normal creature. Let's see if I can gather any of these green gems. Yes, it does. Oh my god. Now, I've got a boosted server at the moment. So that might not be exactly how much it can actually carry. But I have got a much boosted server. But wow. That would be crazy. Emerald. That is a big old emerald. So there we go. A little bit mucking around. Let's grab that one too. Ooh. So the reason I'm also showing you this is I've got big plans about the future of Atlas and me doing guides and tutorials. It's not my only content, but I'm certainly going to be doing pretty much daily content for a while now. And uh, I fancy doing real good tamed videos talking about these. Taming's not, again, I don't think it's massive focus like it was in Ark, and I'm kind of glad about that. It's good to have tames, they do stuff, but it's not the be all end all, it's much more about being a pirate. But nevertheless, I like doing my tame series where we slow things down, we get a look at these creatures in more detail, we're going to go over some of their plus points, we'll obviously talk to you about where to get them, and obviously with the change and stuff, but a little bit more features, a little bit more focus. We're also going to be taking a look at breeding and what ones you can, how to tame them, that's what my tame series is all going to be about. Um, right, anyway, where's, where's me, uh, did I pull that one off? That's it, I think it's the Megalania, it's the only last one you can put the saddle on. And there we go, that's the Megalania, or what it looks like. So yeah, it's derpy as hell, I don't know what it serves, I just thought it was funny while I was doing one video, I come across this, and I just thought, you know what, why not, let's let's have some fun, and let's do something with it. 
And then lastly, I do believe it is the T-Rex. Now I've only got one issue actually, let's take a look. Even on the T-Rex, it doesn't really fit that well. As you can see, it, it's, it's just not on very well. It just doesn't really work. It's just not correctly skinned on. The meshes for them just aren't right. Now I'm not 100% sure if T-Rex is actually in the game. Maybe it is a boss, maybe it is a creature. Oh, it's still on there. Jesus, scared me now. I thought it was going to go for me. I thought it was going to have me. But there we go. Let's go and take a little look and see what else there is. See if we can pop a saddle on this guy. Auto courage off. Ooh. So I'm guessing that's because it is literally Uranus. Options. Back. Oh, yeah. You just have a you just have a little poop, mate, while I'm in the middle of my video. That's it. Good job. So no harvestable stuff. I've not really taken a good look at this guy. Not yet anyway. Yeah, so there's no there's no way to put a saddle on these guys. So you're not gonna be riding these. I don't think they're even that tameable. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, if you've seen any other videos, I've not seen any videos saying, oh my god, I've taken one of these, they're amazing. But obviously it is something you can do on a private server and have a bit of fun. So that's its like normal attack. That's its roar. So it is pretty much the UE. Oh, yep, yeah, look, it's it's working on a T-Rex of all things. Or is that just like a scared attack? Let's give it courage. I'll try and see if it adds in what was going on there. Let's move it. I'm pretty interested that like, where this would do in combat against some other creatures, though. Let's go and take a little look. Oh, oh. Oh no, it's just walking down the rocks. It's not actually falling. Oh, it is now. Oh, I took a big chunk there. It might not last long if we come up against something pretty pretty big. Hello? I just want to eat something. Finish off this video. There we go. So it's got the UE. Was it a T-Rex thing? No, it's a UE thing. Yeah, look, it's running away. So that's what it does. It runs away. Now they're not fighting me because I've got the cheat on, leave me alone. So all the arc commands pretty much do the same sort of thing. I don't see any damage markers, why not? There's this big Cyclops, let's go and have, go and have a bit of fun with the Cyclops. So many of them on the golden areas, man, you get wrecked. There's a Hydra nearby as well. Now I did spawn all these in when, ex oh, I need to call the extinction, when Atlas first launched. Um, so I don't really see the point in doing it again. Obviously, you can't tame any of these. That'd be pretty epic, though. Oh man, like these guys, yeah, like they'll—they're they're still gonna fight. Are they gonna hit me? No, it's because I've got the thing off. It's because I'm riding on him. I'll take him out. But what happens now? I'll get off. Oh, mate, go on. You have it up. You go on. You to go for it. No. It did not last. It did not last. These guys are beastly. Absolutely beastly. So there we go. That's what happens there. So I don't know what purpose that solved. But there you go. I've done it anyway. Oh look that one's still running away. Arc creatures in Atlas. That is all the ones you can do. If you've got your own private server. Rentable server. Just use the arc codes for them creatures. Only them ones. If you know of any that might have worked, maybe I've done something wrong, let me know. It can be a bit of fun, I think, for your servers if you're running them, just to have them. Maybe have them as prizes for people. Um, and that's it. That's the only way you can do it. I, I don't know if they'll ever add a single player mode. I don't think they're going to. It is an MMO. They're always meant to be like massively just online. So be lucky. I am J Plays Games. I'll see you guys for another Arc Atlas slash mix-up mashup video very soon. Bye-bye.